Okay, I removed some metal from out of here. One was the uh, battery box that was sitting over there. That thing was in the way, and it was in the way of the radiator, of all things. I actually had to cut a piece off of it last time I put the engine in here. I think I'm gonna cut a hole in that fender well so that I can get a battery up under there a little further, because I think I've got room to do that. If you look here where the front wheel is, that's up there. And I believe if that came in a couple of inches, there's no way that tire is ever going to hit that. So that's an option. I also removed that little tray down there. That used to sit under the radiator, but when I changed the radiator, I took that out because the radiator is wider than the frame and I actually notched the frame down here in these two corners for that bigger radiator to sit in there. Another thing I'm going to do is the motor mounts on this engine are quite deep and they're very difficult to get this motor over those motor mounts on the frame which are kind of at a humped they kind of like putting them over a hump and I was thinking well, maybe I could carve down one side of those motor mounts of course I lost I didn't lose but the key to this thing got messed up so I have to, I have to open it with a screwdriver and I think I can do that here there you go so these motor mounts here. I'll put you down over here. of it like this that ain't right it goes like this so when you've got an engine connected to this and you're trying to get this to slide over well, yeah see I don't think there's gonna be anything I can cut off of that these parts that stick out they kind of sit on the thing that lines that up so I thought maybe I could trim some metal off that to make it easier to get in there but that's not going to be the case so I can back away from that idea
think I'm ready to put it in there tomorrow morning. Oh, I got one more thing to take off. I don't need that on there. <coughs> okay then. That's a good time to take a break. I might take a break and a nap, and I may be done for the day. You know, I found that if I work a, about a half a day, I'm usually about ready for a nap. Then after my nap, I'm usually about ready to be done for the day. A lot of times, that's when I'll go in and uh, put up a few videos. Uh, I kind of want to pull this oil tube out before I try to pull, put it in there because it's really easy to break something like that. That's stuck in there pretty good, so I may uh, I may think on that a little bit between now and in the morning. Uh, I've got my timing set at top dead center with the number one plug up, and I've got a mark here on my distributor where this goes. So I'm going to pull this distributor out. This is a uh, distributor with points. It's not an electronic, but uh, I decided I'm going to run it just because. I kind of wanted one car that is not electronic and uh, with all these little Chinese, you know, sensor electron things they're making nowadays. The points are almost, you know, <clears throat> if I drove a car and it quit running, I could get in there and adjust the points. I can't adjust those sensors. When they go bad, they just go bad. So, uh, and I'm sticking with the two barrel. I'm not going to change it. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so we'll come back to this in the morning and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.